to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Nika thank you so much for stopping in so today just want to do a quick video about stop allowing people to blame you and stop accepting it I mean how many relationships have you gone through situationships family your kids where they just say well you did this so I did that if it wasn't for you doing this or being like that I wouldn't have done this and then you you let that them blame you for things that you know it's not your fault because like I always say you can't change nobody you can't make nobody do anything they don't want to do so even if you were let's say in a relationship and you wasn't having sex or you wasn't you know as affectionate as you should have been or, or as they would have like you to be because you again if, if that's your character and they decide to get with you then they don't have no one to blame but themselves. You can't change anybody. So if you were just not that affectionate or if you, you know, um, if you worked a lot, you know, whatever the case was, and then they go out and find somebody else and have an affair or they cheat on you, they can't come to you and say, well, if you were home more, if you would have did this more, if you would have did that, if you would have given me more attention, they can't do that. It's, you know, because you're trying to take away from what you did wrong instead of owning up, to what you've done wrong and taking accountability, you're trying to put it on to someone else. And you will be a fool to sit back and say, okay, well, yeah, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I should have been more like this. Maybe I should have done more of that. I mean, to, to, to completely take the blame of what somebody else does, a lot of us have a hard time taking accountability for ourselves, but you're gonna take the blame of what someone blatantly done wrong as your own fault like we need to we need to get into a space where we're like i could see where you may have felt this way but it's still it still was your decision you still did wrong you still hurt me or whatever the case was you know even as parents i'm sure y'all some of y'all parents out there i'm a parent of a teenager i understand completely at a certain age, those kids start to blame you for everything. Everything's your fault. Well, you should have did this, or you wasn't the, you wasn't there for this, and this is why I did that, and this is why I'm behaving this way. No, no, no. Once you're of age and you understand the consequences of your behavior, you're right from your wrong, then you need to take accountability for yourself. Now, we can talk about it. We can get an understanding, and I can even work on improving in a certain area, but what you're not going to do is blame me and dump all your bad behavior, your bad decisions onto me. And on top of that, I'm the one who has to suffer from whatever you've done wrong. So I have to be hurt because of whatever you've done. And then I also have to take the blame because of whatever you're saying I didn't do that caused you to do that. It's a psychological game. It's manipulation. And a lot of us have been manipulated. I've been there before, too. And I've been the person that done that to other people. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, well, you shouldn't have said this, and I wouldn't have said that to you. Or you shouldn't act like this, or and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have ghosted you. No, the point is, at the end of the day, you, people are not responsible for your reactions, your responses. That's you. Now, if a person makes you feel that way, the most mature thing for you to do is to tell them. Let them know, because sometimes people don't even know what the heck they done done. You just out the blue disappear or or cheating or lying or you know doing something crazy because you feel like they wronged you in some kind of way or they're not giving to you what you want or what you need we just need to learn how to communicate with people it, it's not gonna hurt you to, to say like okay this is what's bothering me and if they don't change it or if if they're not able to come to a common ground with you because again you can't change nobody they're not able to come to a common, a common ground where you two can, you know, live in the same space or be friends or, you know, have a healthy relationship on any type of level, then that's when you just need to say, okay, well, I am not for this. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is something I can't put up with. And then at that point, you need to cut it loose. But going out here, you know, treating people, mistreating people and doing what you want to do and blaming them for it or allowing someone to blame you for something is absolute ludicrous. And that is what's causing a lot of our emotional stress, our emotional pain. People talk about they're in depression and stuff. You're not in depression. You're in a bad situation. You're in bad relationships. You don't have healthy people in your life. So you can't just like a plant, you can't 
put a plant in a small pot and never water it and then expect it to just grow into this beautiful um, voluptuous plant that it's supposed to be you can't leave dead weeds on it and expect it to grow it's not going to it's going to die because it has dead weeds on it the pot is too small the soil is bad and you're not watering it at, at what point do you do you realize that it's not something that's wrong with me because that's a lot of things that we do wrong we we like to sit back and say okay well this is our fault this is this is my fault i should have done this i should have because you're allowing people to manipulate you i should have done that i should have been more on time i should have ran to their rescue when they needed this i should have been the one that did that if they wouldn't have did this they wouldn't have gone to jail if they wouldn't have, if i would have done that they wouldn't have cheated on me they wouldn't have left me like you're really just creating a mental prison for yourself when you're sitting back allowing these people to dump all this nonsense onto you instead of taking accountability for their own behaviors their own decisions because you didn't tell them to go do that you wasn't the one who held their hand and said let's go do this and then they got in trouble you know they, you wasn't the one who said hey let's 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 set up a way for you to get into some mess or to, to, to lie to me to cheat on me to be abusive whatever the case is you didn't sit down and, and write a blueprint with them. So why are you sitting back and accepting the nonsense that they're saying? You know they were wrong. You know that they they made this decision on their own. Whatever, whoever the person is, it could be, like I said, it could be your kids. They try it. You know, they try to be like, oh, well, because you you wasn't like this. This is why I did that. We, we all know, but you need to be strong enough to say, you know, I can accept my portion and I can accept, you know, your, I can understand where you're coming from. But at the end of the day, you made that decision. You're grown or you're old enough to know that if you would have done this, this was a possibility. This could have been an outcome. You know, I've tried that before. I've tried, feel, you know, telling my mom before that she, if it wasn't for her, you know, not being home as much as she like because she used to work a lot she was a single mom you know and, and that's not it's not her fault at all i understand because i'm a single mom myself and that's why i gotta get you because now i completely understand but back then it's like i wanted to spend more time with my mom i wanted to feel loved and all that kind of stuff and she loved me she loved me deeply and it was just my how far my mom was allowing me to go as a teenager as a kid you know blaming her for something that wasn't even her fault. You know, she was doing the best she could to raise me and my siblings. And I just went on out, got me a boyfriend, you know, thinking that, okay, well, this is all me feeling empty or this is all me feeling, you know, feeling a lack of love. You know, just things like that. And then what happened? I ended up being a mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm being honest. I ended up getting pregnant. And so, yeah. I may have made my mom feel bad a little bit by saying, well, you wasn't there. You didn't, you didn't make me feel special and da, da, da. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I knew better. My mom taught me better than that. She taught me the consequences of having sex. She, she taught me, you know, what can come about that situation. You know, she even used herself as an example because she was a teen mom with me. And so she tried to stop me from, from living that type of lifestyle. And although I was... You know, I made it towards the end of my teenage years. I still was young. I didn't know what I was doing. I was still a baby. You know, and because I just wanted to to make excuses for my baby here, because I know I was doing wrong, but I wanted to make excuses and blame somebody else so I didn't have to take accountability. Now I ended up being a single mom. Well, I ended up being a mom in general at that time. And so, like I'm saying, like we... You, you just have to wake up and like I say, if it's you who's trying to just blame everybody else for what whatever you got going on in your life, the decisions that you made, stop. Because you're never going to change until you take responsibility. And if someone else is doing that to you, don't allow them to just push everything on you. You need to help them realize that, yes, maybe I wasn't there enough. Maybe I, I didn't talk to you kindly. Maybe I wasn't phenomenal in your eyes. Whatever it is. But... Ultimately, at the end of the day, you chose to do this for your life. So this affects your life. You can't try to pull me down with you just because you're you're now suffering from whatever your consequences are. 
I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. But y'all just stay beautiful, stay positive, stay kind, and you know, take accountability and also don't sit sit back and allow someone to use you as as somebody they can blame. They're blame rag. Every time they do something wrong, they're using you to clean it up because they're hiding behind you because you're allowing them to blame you and you accept it and help them feel better, which is really not. But in the in the moment, it helps them feel better and helps them to, you know, not take accountability for what they've done wrong and not not have to deal with their own their circumstances that they created for themselves. But yes, like always, comment what you think below. Share your testimonials if you have any. Be polite, be kind, because that's what we do on this channel. It's all about opinion. This is my personal opinion. So y'all can put your personal opinion. I'm not going to argue with you about anything because everybody's entitled to think the way they think. And, you know, just keep the conversation going. And we will talk next time. Bye.